Yeah, sorry for the interruption. As I was talking about the issues into the cloud of uh, things, so the very first thing that is the protocol support, dear student. I hope everyone knows about the protocol. Since from semester one, you people are reading about the protocols. There are various type of protocols that are being used by your applications so that they can properly form the network. They can work into an appropriate manner. So I can list some of the protocol. Then the, you would have studied the TCP/IP protocol, then TCP protocol, then UDP protocol, then HTTP protocol, HTTPS protocol, SMTP protocol, right? Various protocol that you people use in order to get the communication, a very good communication uh, formulation, or you can say a linkage between two different parties, right? So the very first issue into cloud of thing is the protocol, dear student. So you cannot guarantee whether a newly added sensor will be successfully configured or not. Means like configured in the sense means you will be uh, you will be easily able to form a communication so far. Okay, uh, that could be a problem. Okay, solution to this kind of problem may be mapping of standardized protocol in the gateway. Means whatever gateway you people are using, so for for the smooth communication. For that, you need to understand. You need to understand what are the standardized type of protocol that you people can use for the communication. As you see over here, uh, like you know, into this diagram, you have a cancel mark, right? So where that protocol is not working. So this is the very biggest problem. So you have to analyze the the problem, okay? And then you have to try to map up a, a solution onto the basis of protocol. If it is a problem with protocol, then you have to map your particular application or a solution with an appropriate standardized protocol. Uh, standardized protocol, you can say the protocol which can run anywhere at any instant of time and at any with anyone, right? Where there is no problem with respect to usage of that protocol. Uh, some kind of like you know common common type of protocols are there which run anywhere at any instant of time with respect to any of the application. So you have to understand those. Next is energy efficiency means like you know uh, how much efficient your mechanism is. So you can say a typical wireless is composed of four different component. One is the sensing unit uh, because everyone is becoming wireless nowadays, right? Everyone like wire wireless type of technology so there four component are being used sensing unit is there processing unit is there trans receivers are there and power unit these are the four things that you have to consider when you talk about the wireless technology so there should be a mean for sensor to generate power from the environment like solar energy vibration and air also effective sleep mode can be handy in this regard as well means you have to you are not only making an application, dear student, but yes, you have to understand what type of resources you sh you have to use, so that you can make any any of this stuff of uh, application which is uh, like you know uh, environmental friendly also. Means you have to use all the kind of resources that 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 are that are being available into your environment. Try to use them also. So here yeah, that that is the impact that. Energy efficiency means you can use the energy from from all those uh, uh, sources which are like you know already available, which are uh, nature friendly. You can say which are being naturally provided and all. Next is resource allocation, very important. Okay, see whenever we try to use any particular resource, so first of all we should understand why we want to use that resource, where we want to use. When exactly we have, we want to use, how we will be, and what type of resource we want, and who will be using. So these are the, uh, like you know, you can say different questions, six different questions that comes under our mind. बहुत सारी चीजें हैं. You have to keep into your mind so far. So your resource allocation means what? Depending upon your purpose. Okay, which sensor you will be using, how much type. Okay, and frequency of the data generation, resource allocation, mapping should be done, right? What, how, and at uh, which level you will be using? So proper mapping of everything would be done. Fine. Next is identity management. So when object are becoming part of IoT. 
they also need a unique identification yes obviously it is just like you know you people are you people have bought a laptop or a computer now you have done a internet connectivity now your particular computer would be having a unique identification number so called as ip address that every every particular computer is having its own unique ip address in the same manner whenever you make any object uh, internet of thing so that automatically it has to gain a unique identification so for that we have uh, that ipv6 and ipv4 i hope you people must know about this ipv6 and ipv4 ip internet protocol is having two different version one is v4 that is version 4 and second is version 6 okay nowadays and from since from long time back also we people are using the version 6 so this is a it is a kind of like an address space and it is uh, it is it is being said ki like it provide you an enough enough support with respect to the network configuration and there is no ambiguity into the network when we use the internet protocol version 6 okay assigning ipv6 address can be more than reasonable way in this regard yes ipv6 helps a lot with respect to the ne networking perspective comes or with respect to the networking scenarios come you can say it provide a very good identity management easily the management of your unique identification can be done next see you are studying all those things because ultimately you people are dealing with the network ultimately you people are dealing with the internet and these terms are very much important into the internet right there are a lot of people or there are a lot of applications which want to access the same resource right so we we have to understand from which particular device what kind of like you know request is coming and which particular device requires what kind of uh, uh, resources and accordingly the allocation should be done correct now let me just go ahead Uh, next is the uh, the issue that is ipv6 deployment so ipv6 as we said ki we people use it for the identification or a unique uh, i unique communication that you can say so deployment of ipv6 could be a problem with respect to the network yes it give a lot of advantage but deployment is also a problem so we have to understand ki you have to make a very good level of study on to the ipv4 and ipv6 and you have to understand how smoothly you can uh, use ipv6 and how smoothly you can you, you can implement it so that you can solve the problem and next is the service discovery so with with the help of the cloud of thing the cloud manager or bro or broker has the responsibility to discover new services for the user the user cannot stay with one specific service for a longer period of time now nowadays it, it is a kind of like you know problem that people are facing like you know they always need to have some fascinating things even if we talk about the services we talk about the technology we talk about the application everywhere new new things need to be get implemented as if you see your whatsapp if you see your facebook every time they are coming with some so with some different type of features some different type of services so that people should use it right people should be connected with that application so it is the responsibility of the service discovery or you can say you are not service discovery you can say cloud manager to always innovate uh, some new new services into their area so in iot any object can become a part of it at any moment of time and can leave the iot at any moment of time yes it totally depend upon the objects requirement and on so it could be a uh, you can say if any of the object comes into an iot environment and leaves the iot environment then finding any other service in uh, like uh, on to the replacement for that uh, leftover object it is a kind of problem right we are, we should we should have the prior intimation but sometime if we are not having then it become a very biggest issue or very biggest kind of hurdle so far and uh, the status need to be get maintained like whether they are active or not updation is required everything is required so you have to you have to be very much ready for each and every challenges with respect to the services that are coming going out becoming out to date and all right 
so next is quality of services service pro providing and uh, provision that you people are having so it uh, it is very much important the quality of the service is always needed like you know it should be always active type of service right it shouldn't happen like it was active for some time and later on it became inactive or uh, priorly uh, that uh, service was into Uh, it was uh, having a very good consistency very good type of data but nowadays it is not supported also you know it shouldn't happen like that with uh, those services should be provided thoroughly okay so uh, whenever you find out any of the service which is like you know which is not maintained so it is require uh, we need to take a strict action urgency action you can say so that uh, the node which is providing that particular service need to be get active right it is very much compulsory that every particular node who are providing these services cloud of things services you can say they need to be always active they need to be always sync right anybody can ask at any instant of time any type of data so they all are connected on to the network so they need to be get active at every instant of time location of data storage for multimedia data nearest possible virtual storage server must be allocated yes if you are requiring any kind of like you know multimedia type of data multimedia is not a normal textual data dear student multimedia is like you know sometimes some some animation could be there some different type of services could be there some kind of like you know effects are there right those are some different type of uh, data that you people are having so for them if you provide any virtual storage that virtual sh uh, storage should be very much near it shouldn't be so far so that if it is far sometime it takes a long period of time in order to load that data and this shouldn't happen right you have to make the things easily available where the user shouldn't wait for any of the service so far so that is the most important thing that you have to cover security and privacy is very important aspect so you need to always understand uh, like you know what level of uh, data that you people are having whatever data you people store on to the virtual storage area that should uh, that is sensitive and along with the sensitive it is very much private so you have to understand the data's uh, security and privacy should be maintained so far right that uh, next is unnecessary communication of the data then a uh, smart uh, gateway would help in bet better utilization of the network and the cloud services means you have to use unnecessary communication of data should not be there and for that you would be always requiring a gateway gateway means what firewalls you can say right you should use such a kind of like you know firewall which should tell you what is coming inside and what is going outside right so with the help of that we can easily understand that Uh, nothing is nothing we people are losing and nothing is coming uh, which is malicious correct or not so that is the most important thing that you have to understand so for that you have to use the gateway but that gateway should be smarter enough right whatever firewall you people use that need to be very much smarter as you see in this particular diagram you are having the smart gateway right <coughs> sorry for the inconvenience and uh, the very last important thing that is the conclusion and what future work that you people can do so cloud of thing is a very challenging approach you can say if it is very much fascinating then it is having a lot of challenges and it required a lot of study because iot itself is a kind of like you know emerging type of thing which is having a lot of uh like you know research areas or uh, uh, innovative areas and uh, more to be invented areas so you have to understand all those stuffs and all so you would be always requiring special type of storage area special type of like you know uh, uh services and special type of implementations so that you can use it at to an appropriate level so this is all about uh, or you can say uh, about your cloud computing and internet of thing that dear student you can take into the consideration and you can use it so i hope this session would would add a great knowledge to whatever information that you people are having and i hope that you will think about it because this is one of the like you know very much uh, important area you know 
that 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 is you know you can say just like your artificial intelligence or machine learning and natural language processing or deep learning is is uh, is a kind of like you know future really future area which is the future of your uh, uh, this world okay in the same manner this iot with the combination of cloud computing is a future area which require a lot of uh, uh, you know technical uh, development inside it smart app uh, implementation which is being required a lot of research which is which is uh, like you know yet to be done so thank you so very much for attending the session see you into the next session with uh, another important topic for cloud computing mooc course thank you dear students